Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to The Coma 2 Vicious Sisters. So this is the game that we're revisiting today. We haven't looked at it in many, many years, um, but it was really cool, really interesting, um, and I thought it was worth, well, taking a look at. Both this and its, uh, uh, well, not prequel, both the first one and the sequel are on Deep Sale. So if you find this interesting, you can go and check them out. I never played the first game. But this one seems pretty cool. Uh, Dev Espresso is the name of the developer. And they also did Vambrace Cold Souls. We covered a fair bit. Um, which was a, probably a, a weak entry. Still just as gorgeous. The same side-scrolling, beautiful art with a, a kind of darkest dungeon uh, setup. Uh, especially in Vambrace. Um, they, but, but Vambrace was a bit of a weak entry. This is more of a Korean horror, high school survival horror sort of vibe, uh, as opposed to a more more of a dungeon crawl, which is what Vambrace was. Uh, Scarlet Hood, I think is their newest one, probably came out last year. I never got around to looking at it, but again, same sort of uh, artistic side-scrolling, just beautiful art. So they do lots of different genres, um, but within the same artistic uh, styling, but all, again, very, very different. Uh, themes and genres, which is pretty cool, but this might be the strongest entry. Anyway, let's just jump into this. Wait up, Yongho. Oh, wake up. You have to wake up. Please. Oh, who's this? My best friend fell into a mysterious coma three weeks ago and hasn't recovered. All right, we're just exposition dumping, are we? Okay. I've been having the same dark dream of him ever since. He's all alone and trapped? I know it's just a dream. Some things were meant to be inseparable, but where are you now? You were clutching this tent pendant so tight when they found you. I don't mind this setup. We were just looking at Stallcraft and it had sort of a dream sequence setup. It's kind of kind of cool for mysterious horror type settings. Right. Oh. Twenty fifty. Okay. What are you doing at high school at that time of the evening? Ugh. Mina. What a drag. Glad that's over. Ha. Huh. A message from Dai Hyun. Red alert. Meet me in the restroom when you're done chilling with Mad Dog. It's important. As if I'm spending time in his class willingly. I wonder what's so important. Alright, you can move around with the bloody stick. You can sprint with right trigger. Uh, oh, okay, interaction key. Yep, cool. Got a to-do list. Jeez, it's been a long time, but again, look how gorgeous all of this is. Check your maps with D-pad up. Mina's icon denotes your current location. <laughs> okay. Discover utilities mark on the map. Okay. How cool is that? Right, so we want to go to the restroom, right? And now I've got the interact. I can chat with the girls. I don't get it. Why does Mad Dog like you so much? Must be nice living on Easy Street. Uh, are we talking about Easy like the school teacher or something? Mm. Male student. I find the best to stay focused. Best way to stay focused is to main soul crushing routine. Today's no exception. I won't get home till midnight. Oh my goodness. All right, let's uh, let's find a way out of here. Here we go. I can interact with the door. Restroom time. Wait, is that chick waving at me? You reckon? <laughs> Female student. Hey, Mina, can I borrow your English notes? I like to peer into the mind of the school egghead. Oh, hey, 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 no need for that. All right, I'm going to the loo and I'm going to have a goss. <laughs> Mina, is that you? Come out, come out. Hey, I'm trying to concentrate here. Oh, sorry about that. Onion. <laughs> Onion. Uh, <laughs> oh, geez, that was embarrassing. Well, tell me what, the, uh, you know what they say, patience is a virtue. I'm over it. So how was class? Same old. Uh, Chang Ho fell asleep and started snoring during the lecture. Mad Dog got so upset, I thought he was going to have a stroke. Spill the beans, what's so important? All oh, right. So I was like on my way to class when I bumped into uh, Myung Gil. 
not what I wanted to hear, right? Which reminds me, I've got to stop taking that route. I like keep bumping into those skanks. <laughs> uh, it was confirmed, this is our chicks talk, 100%. Uh, from class 252. Totes annoying. <laughs> Can you cut to the chase? Some of us have places to be. Okay, don't get your panties in a twist. Anywho, Myung Gil, uh, Gil uh, like, handed me this and asked me to give it to you. You received their letter. Oh, it's a love letter, is it? Oh, I've got a little heart as well. Hey, babe, we're way past the ninth inning, so how about we stop playing coy and go steady? Circle one, yes or no? Yours truly, Myung Gil. Oh my god. Total cringe. That like sent a legit shiver down my spine. Oh, I mean, it's 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 wholesome unless it's stalkery. Like, is this actually her pseudo boyfriend or is this just a creep? This looks like it was written by a sixth grader. Yeah, okay, maybe. Hmm. Surprise, Myung Gil isn't exactly known for his stunning intellect. So what you gonna do? Since he likes baseball so much, maybe I'll wad this up and pitch it up at his head. Oh my goodness. The dude's dodging a bullet from these shielders by the sounds of it. With any luck, he'll knock it far, far away from me. You know, he's kind of got a point though. What do you mean? Don't you think it's about time you like stop leading him on? Hey, look at this, based. I'm not leading him on. I just want to, I don't know, you know, I don't want to crush him. You've been complaining about him for the past year. Stop being so indecisive. Just suck it up and tell him he's struck out already. Yeah, exactly. I'll handle it. I'll step up. Indecisive? Why don't you tell me what you really think? It's not rocket science. You either like him or you don't. I, for one, am starting to think you like the attention. Oh, forget it. I'll deal with him myself. Well, what if you decide to do it quick? I'm getting tired of him handing me. All right, let's talk about it later. i got to go into Mrs. Song's class. What's up? I haven't eaten yet. I left my purse in class. Do me a fave and grab me an uh, <laughs> Obama bar. <laughs> Fuck it, that's what it's called. The uh, the Obama bar. Thanks, Obama bar. In the cafeteria, I'll owe you. Uh, I'll meet you there in a bit. Okay, just hurry, right? Do you have enough money for a snack? Check your inventory. Me to keep your inventory. It has four slots for items at the moment, so choose wisely. All right? Quest items, Doritos. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, they can oh, quest items are a different pouch altogether. Okay, cool. Well, I've got a water bottle. I'm pretty sure it kicks off shortly. So where am I going? The cafeteria. Right. Is this the cafeteria? Yeah, here we go. First, first aid, what's going on here? She wants to... You can buy items from vending machines. Make sure man has an empty inventory slot. All right, there's a bar, a bum bar. Did I get it? Oh, there we go. Oh look, there's an ad for Van Brace on the... <laughs> That's kind of cool. Oh, here she is. What's the matter? Something weird's gone. Yeah. Think fast, Myung Gil's coming this way. Oh no, I can't talk to him now, stall for me. Are you kidding me? I'm just gonna run off am I and hide her. <laughs> look at him, he's a Chad. Oh, yeah. What's not the love? Yo, rash girl. What the hell, Myung Gil? <laughs> Don't call me that. Yeah, but I'll, I'll be honest, you probably shouldn't call a chick rash girl. <laughs> uh, why the long face? I'm just joshing ya. One of those senior girls from 25 told me that was your nickname. Well, you shouldn't listen to them. What are you gonna do? What are you doing here anyway? Not much hitting I think this art is so wonderful. This is really cool. And the writing is it's funny actually. It's in intentionally sort of cringy, you know, boomer written teenage interpretation. <laughs> but it's good. I like it. Uh, heading down to the diamond to get some swings in. So uh, you see Mina around? Uh, Mina. Nope. Haven't seen her lately. But you gave her the note, right? What did she say? Looked like she was in a rush. So don't think she like had the chance to read it. Oh, well, tell her what the... Uh oh, busted. Yeah. Yo. <gasps> You deaf sea hoser, get your punk ass over here. Oh no. Oh, is you gonna pick on this dude? Mina. What are you looking at? I don't have any all day bread shuttle. Oh my god. Hey, Myung Gil. You got my pizza bread? You know I can't play ball worth a damn on an empty stomach. 
All right, I've had enough of this. Oh, okay, right. Well, he was all right until now. He's been a prick to the to the nerd kid. Mina, get out here. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. What the hell, Mina? That was like seriously uncool. Why did you call me out? He was totally buying your story. You're the one who got like put me uh or that put me on the spot. Oh my god, did you see his face when we bum rushed past him like idiots? And did you hear what he called me? Oh, no offense, but you do this all the all the time. You're super flaky. Yeah, she seems like a you know, like to, not to over analyze or anything like that, but she's she seems like an actually interesting female character, right? Because um she's written with faults and it's not necessarily, like, it's overt as well. Like, it's almost on the nose that the character is clearly flaky and she's a bit of a shit operator, shit to her mates, indecisive. But you've got her best mate on on her hip saying this to you, the, the, the player. Like, they do lay it on thick, but it is a cool setup, right? Because it's always good having, a like, a depowered character, but sometimes narratively it really doesn't stick. And there's very one-dimensional characters, especially female ones, like, to be honest, you know... You see people complain about Mary Sue's and all that sort of shit. It's just not, it's kind of cool to see that our character is, she's kind of a shit person, right? But it's so clear that that's part of the arc, right? She's she's going to be a better person over the course of the game, right? Or maybe she's just a shit person and everyone around her tells her she is all along. <laughs> but you can see the setup. You can actually see the narrative roots here already in between all the like totally writing. Uh, what's it supposed to mean? It means you need to, like, grow a spine. This isn't the first time you've left me high and dry. Yeah, see? You being shit, mate, and your bestie's calling you out. This is this is great. More games should have this. Whatever. Time to blow this popsicle stand. Hey, that's my saying. Deal with your own issues from now on. All right, could we, could we actually get into it, please? Drama queen, what's the deal? I'm late. I should get to the class. It's a good setup. Yeah, right, we're good here. <coughs> Excuse me. Study room. Is that it? Excuse me, I got a, a tickle in the throat. Oh my god, look at our teacher! Fuck yeah! Alright, let's go. Meaning you're late, is everything okay? I'm fine, just feeling a little anxious about the last test. Excuse me. Um, don't fret, I'm handing them out today. In fact, I'd like you to stay after class to talk about it. So I've been meaning to ask how Yong Ho's going. Have you visited him at the hospital? Don't worry about him. Uh, we're sort of going to speed this up a little bit because, you know, this is just an overview video or a revisit, whatever you'd like to call it in this case. I, I want to show it off. Um, uh, the dialogue's good. The dialogue's actually really interesting. It's not too bloated, um, but it's also slower paced. So that's clear, but let's try and get into more gameplay loop, right? Get, get into the drop. Chin up, dear. Anyone can recover from something that's Yong Ho. These past few weeks have been tough on you. Um, I know he'll pull through. Yong Ho's always got a strong period. He'll be okay. I don't know when, but he will. Yep. Uh, listen, if you ever need someone to talk to, I'm here. Thanks means a lot. All right. I have an announcement to make. Do I have to sit in my seat? Is that what's going on? Yeah, okay. Here we go. Who's the bloody dream boat? Substitute teacher next to her. All right, pipe down. We're switching to English now. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Yep, cool. Yep, this is the newest member of the high school. He'll be helping improve English this summer. Hello, class. My name is Chance. <laughs> I'm very excited to meet all of you. So I can't stay today. See you later, Chance. Right, so we've introduced him. That's kind of cool. I'm sure you've all been waiting to see your exams. Let's hand him out. I want you to see the super blood moon tonight. It's a rare occurrence. Open your page to page, uh, books to page 84. Acceleration key to fast forward cutscenes and dialogue that you've already seen. Okay. Class ends. Oh, we don't necessarily need to speed this up. I like this. I can't believe I've got a B plus. What the heck is wrong with me? What are you talking about? B plus is great. And it was enough for Miss Song to keep me after class too. Are you fucking serious? I had to wonder if you got a bloody F or something. Be a relief to get home. Looks like I'm the last one out. Oh, isn't that... Siho, what's he doing? What are you doing, Siho? It's the old storage room. I thought it was locked. I remember this. I wonder what's in there. I'm getting fucking creepy music and all that. Just leave him alone. 
He's up to shenanigans. Holy shit, okay. I could have sworn I just saw him come in here. See how where did he go? Um, okay. I can see the super blood moon rising from here. It's quite a sight to behold. Oh, there's a book. What's this about? Someone has assembled an odd makeshift shrine here. There's a picture here, and it's the same uh, girl from Yong Ho's amulet. What's this writing? Tonight, the fourth and final blood moon of the dark tetrad rises. When the great gnashing begins, the... Oh, my God. I would not fucking... I'd be, I'd be bloody uh, Lawrence Fishburne in Event Horizon. I'd be straight the fuck out of here. The great gnashing? We're leaving. Uh, Umbran gates shall swing open and welcome uh, my vicious sisters to walk our world. Only then will she relinquish her claim on my damned soul. I don't feel so well. No. At least I've still got my chalky bar. It worked. It really worked. And you brought the, uh, the amulet. This is just perfect. You normies are so predictable. Ha, ah, someone's coming. Them again. Damn, damn, damn. Why won't they leave me alone? Okay. Now I've got a health bar and a, a oxygen bar, a sprint bar. Mm. Unknown. Look at this dude. He's clearly some sort of priest. The kid got away again. He's deceptively fast. Drop this though. Hmm. That's not the relic we're looking for. It's a worth, just a worthless lighter. Do you recognize this girl? I've seen her before. She's a Siwa student from songs class. How'd she get in the coma? That's not our concern. Say focus. We've got bigger fish to Friday tonight. This bird, this little bird will be lucky if she even makes it through the witching hour. Um, where's Hyung Bae? I haven't seen him since we arrived. Yeah, he has more pressing priorities. Just catch that twerp before they cause any more trouble. I'll find the moon incense. Everyone else, I guess I'm listening to all this. I'm not really unconscious or this is just weird uh, story. <laughs> Everyone else, you know the minister's orders. Remember, our realms are only in sync tonight. We're operating in liminal time. Oh, well, that's cool. Liminal spaces is a very hyped thing these days. And we can't afford to make mistakes. No use waiting around then. Let's move out. Oh, my goodness. So we've got a bit of a Silent Hill, you know, touching of dimensions shit going on. What's going on? What time is it? Oh my god, did I pass out here? I can't see a thing. What's this? You received the strange lighter. It can be used to brighten your surroundings. You can search around while using it. Uh, and like I said, th there are other games. I'm not 100% sure about Scarlet Hood. I think that might be more of a sort of adventure game. But uh, Vambrace is, like I said, it's a, it's a bit more of a, um, it, like if I recall, a Darkest Dungeon sort of uh, crawler. And this is much more survival horror, you know? We've got tropes with the lighter as well. So it's really cool, all the, the different stuff that they put out. Um, even if some of it's a bit mixed. Uh, be careful, your enemies find, will find you easier by the glow. Oh, fuck that. Check uh, your location of the maps. The Book of Memories, locations, lootable areas, uh, are hiding and hiding spots are important places to note. Okay. Got this, got my Obama bar. Old storage. I guess we want to go down to the biology lab. Or down to the... Oh, that's like the front door or something. An open book sits upon the uh, desk. You see several names hastily scrawled on its pages. Stay vigilant and do not lose yourself in the coma. Write your name in the book of memories and remember who you are. My name. Hmm. One's name is important in the coma. Forgetting it will cause Mina to lose her sanity and relive her nightmares. Use the book of memories to record her name. You can restart. Right, so there's a save point. Right, so we'll just... Whatever, just save over that. So I can turn the lighter on and off. Is that the idea? There we go. I don't think it's got limited fuel. Oh shit, how cool is that? Oh man. The bodies look like they're made of wax. Their unnatural poses make an eerie sight. Oh, this place isn't right. <laughs> this isn't where I parked my car. I've got to snap out of it. This has to be some kind of bad dream. Oh shit, what's going on in the ceiling? Falling bodies may drop from the ceiling. If you're struck by them, your health will drop by one. If you're struck by clawing hands, you'll begin bleeding. This will temporarily decrease your max health. If you lose one health from bleeding, you will lose one health from bleeding if you don't use a bandage. Evasion uses a lot of stamina. However, it may mean the difference between life and death. You're right. Okay, I get it. So I gotta stay vigilant and hope something doesn't fall on me fucking noodle. Am I going the right way? I'm going the right way. Uh, uh, 
high tension. Oh, oh, fuck it hell. I'd rather not sprint through here. Oh yeah, we could probably duck down here. Just watching the ceiling, you know? Don't want things to fall on me. Oh, we're not going in there. We're not going in there. Oh yeah, we could go down here. There's blood on the stairs. That's not good. Anyone there? Let me out. Somebody please. The door's locked tight. There's a memo here. Please exit through the West Building School Security. I can reach the West Building through the third floor cafeteria. Of course I fucking can. Right. Okay. Yeah. There's bloody poo in the stairs. No going up there. No, it's easy, does it? I guess I could search all these areas. Like, oh, right, I can remember my name up at up at Thingo, where the feather, the pen feather mark is. I could be exploring all these side areas, but nah, I just want to get out. Fuck that. I've got my water bo bottle and my thanks Obama bar. So I don't really need to search for anything else now, I don't think. Oh, these bodies, man. Fuck. And we've got tentacles. Of course we've got tentacles. Oh, there's a... Oh, that, there was a thing in the roof. Alright, we're lucky it didn't get me. Mina, that girl. Ooh, that kind of girl. Are you okay? She doesn't look right. Maybe I shouldn't get too close. No shit. Chlorine shadows will slash at your legs. If you're struck, you'll begin bleeding. This may be difficult to detect. Keep an eye out for them. Oh, fucking get away from me, you fuck. Alright, these containers are marked with an odd emblem. These supplies come courtesy of the minister. Take what you need to finish the job, ghost vigilantes. Hyung Bay. Looks like they've been opened. I wonder if there's anything useful left. Oh, maybe there's a fucking magnum in there or something. A bandage. Just as good. That was my second, my second hope. And 500 won coins. Yes, can put them in a vending machine. Let's bloody disco. Alright, don't forget to remember your name. Right, we're trying to exit through here. Oh, can I search this? Yes! A D. Valentine bar, my favourite. Oh, fuck, what is that? Let me out here. This gate's locked too? Come on, maybe the staff left some keys behind the bar. I'd better check. Oh, yeah, this dark hole looks sus as fuck. A hastily written memo to the cafeteria staff is here. You receive memo and key card. It's a cool looking key card. I, I, I quite like, it's a, it's a weird thing to be into, but like, I, I like that sort of art and asset design in games. God, what we were playing the other day, it had lots of little books and things like that that you could pick up. It's cool. I, I just think it adds to the world realism when they take the, take the time to sort of replicate real world items that like that. Anyway, hmm, it seems a food service worker was doing overtime. They told her to pick up an underground parking lot key card in the security office. Maybe I can finally get out of this creepy place. Are you kidding? Fuck this. Nope. We just want to go down. We're okay for now. We're okay for now. Just bloody chill. SOS. Ah, I'm not going in there. Can't trick me game. Alright, just gotta go down one. Fuck, I just, oh, just want to go down another one, you fuck of a game. Um... Where we go, left or right? Let's go right. Oh, 
here. Oh, shit. A wall of eldritch tentacles have taken root and are growing through this hall. Goodness me. Oh, what's this? You received a torn page. Torn pages you collect appear in notes. These pages may prov may provide revealing lore. All right, well, let's have a read. The Sewa Institute Sumi. The months after our arrival in uh, Seoul were turbulent. To my father's dismay, it was uh, a dangerous time of political upheaval. Wait, when is this? 310 current year? I don't know. My family settled in an undeveloped city district called Song Ryong. It was most notable for two things then. The distance presence, sorry, the distinct presence of Catholic missionaries and the preeminence of the Sewa Institute owned by a mysterious American family. Our community knew the organization well for its various outreach efforts. Despite the benefit their development projects did for our district, the suspicious fog of secrecy shrouded the Sewa Institute. Oh, it's cool. Cool backstory, a bit of, you know, Resident Evil sort of vibes. Okay, so that's marked on my map now at least, so that's good. Uh, I guess we go this way now. I'm feeling funneled. I'm feeling scripted eventy. You know? But, nope. Fuck you, Sheila. Um, security officers down. Yep, good. All right. Saw something on the roof there. Twitching away, fidgeting away. Oh! <laughs> Fuck me, that gave me a fright. Oh, what's going on here? A key card, there's a generator. Oh, can I hide in here? Hiding may save your life. Use surroundings to conceal yourself. Oh, yeah, look out. Different hiding spots will provide varying levels of concealment. Choose wisely. Complete the quick time command to hold your breath. Failing will reveal your location. It's more difficult to conceal heavy breathing when your stamina is low. Yeah, right. What's right bumper do? Nothing, apparently. How do I get out? Okay, I get out like that. I don't like this dagger stick. Fucking hell. It's a real body, and real blood. What happened to him? I need to call the police. My phone refuses to work at a time like this. Okay, calm down. Just focus on getting out of here. Yeah, right. A wallet. His name was Hyung Bae. I don't recognize him, though. You received underground parking lot key card? Yeah. What's this over here? What's this? Looks like mace. Hey, there you go. Now we're in trouble. He must have tried to use it. Doesn't look like it helped though. What could what could have done this to him? Hmm, might come in handy. Makes a disposable item to escape an assailant's grasp. Ah, yeah, okay. This mechanic was introduced in the Resident Evil remake. Along with crimson heads and all that. It's so interesting that it, that was like a a remake of an existing game, but introduced a lot of cool mechanics. Well, there's two I can think of, that then got adapted into survival horror. So not only like was it a remake, which arguably these days remakes are kind of soulless fucking rehashes that do nothing for the space or the genre, except try and turn money over. Um, yeah, that remake stands the test of time. Everyone loves it because, yeah, it actually remade the genre in a way. It really revolutionized aspects of it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Complete the command to use the spray. All right, cool. What's going on here? I can hide here. Well, that's nice. But I can't check my uh, my map while I'm here. Okay. Please don't stab me, sir. Oh, that's cool. You can see into the depth. That's very cool. Parking lot is downstairs. Let's get out of here. Up. All right. Well, I hate to love you and leave you, too, but. That's probably plenty enough to get an idea of this game. This is good. This is creepy. I like it a lot. Um, again, we, we had a brief look at it back in the day. Um, it's probably worth just checking the dev. If you do find this interesting, look into the dev. Look into Vambrace. Look into Scarlet Hood. Obviously, look into the Coma 1. This is I, I've heard tell that this has kind of improved quite well on the first game. 
Uh, it might be worth, you know, if I can find it in my schedule, maybe I'll go back and look at the Coma 1, right? But the Coma 2, according to all reports, is a superior game. Uh, so I thought, you know, if, if I could only shout out one, I would shout out this. It's pretty cool. I like the limited inventory as well. Uh, people that whinge about the, uh, inventory slots for survival horror always give me the shits. They don't, it's like they were refusing to play the game on its terms and don't understand that that's exactly what makes it good is, you know, stress, stressors, like limited inventory, having to make hard decisions. But anyway, that's a bit of a waffle on the end. What a cool game. Again, on deep sale at the moment. Go and check it out for a couple of bucks. Uh, let me know what you reckon. Might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Yeah.